NASA begins search for more Earth-like planets. NASA's new satellite is looking for Earth's doppelganger, and not the transdimensional kind. Planets orbiting other stars are termed exoplanets. The term applies to planets of all sizes from Earth and Mars to Jupiter. NASA's new spacecraft will search exoplanets outside our solar system. Called the Transitioning Exoplanet Survey Satellite, the spacecraft will look for planets which transit in front of a star, causing a dip in its brightness. Repeats of this pattern may indicate a habitable planet supporting life. NASA says the mission will cover an area 400 times greater than observed by the Kepler Space Telescope. Tests will look at 26 different sectors of space over a two-year period. According to the space agency, TESS will observe stars up to 100 times brighter than previously covered. Here's more on exoplanets. Interstellar message sent to nearby exoplanet. Hello, is anyone out there? GJ273, a red dwarf, also called Leuton star, is galactically right around the corner at a mere 12.36 light years away from Mother Earth. Scientists and artists beamed a message to the GJ273 system last month to see if any aliens are listening. The message will only take about a dozen years to arrive. The radio signal included music and math lessons from us to them and was designed for aliens to respond. Some critics, like Stephen Hawking, worry that actively trying to contact ET could alert advanced hostile or resource-seeking aliens, which could have dire consequences for our planet. Don't worry, we'll destroy ourselves first before any dirty alien will get a chance to. But on the bright side, if in 25 years we hear an actual response, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> Question is, can it support life? Scientists using the European Southern Observatory's planet-hunting HARPS instrument have discovered a new exoplanet just 11 light years from our solar system. Ross 128b is roughly the same size as Earth and is believed to share a similar surface temperature. The exoplanet's host star is Ross 128, a red dwarf star that is smaller and cooler than our Sun, is 20 times closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun, and completes an orbit in just 9.9 .9 days. Red dwarf stars such as the Proxima Centauri are unstable and often subject their planets to flares and deadly UV radiation. But Ross 128 is a much quieter star, which means its exoplanets may be a more comfortable place to host life. Scientists are unsure if Ross 128b is in fact habitable, but agree that it is a good candidate for the study. ESO's extremely large telescope is set to look for biomarkers such as oxygen in the exoplanet's atmosphere by 2025. This jumbo-sized planet Earth may support alien life. American scientists have discovered a super-sized Earth-like planet in a nearby star system that could support alien life. Exoplanet LHS 1140b orbits a red dwarf star every 25 days at a proximity 10 times closer than Earth to the Sun. This red dwarf star is much dimmer and cooler than our Sun meaning the star's habitable zone is closer. However, its cosmic radiation could still damage the planet. LHS 1140b is 1.4 times the size of planet Earth, but is almost seven times heavier, indicating that it's likely composed of rock and an iron core. It's because of this density that researchers believe the planet may be robust enough to endure the radiation and still hold water. Scientists will be able to examine the 5 billion year old exoplanet much further after NASA launches the James Webb Telescope in 2018. Water World is just a couple of light years away. For the first time ever, astronomers have detected an atmosphere around a planet other than Earth, marking a significant step in the search for extraterrestrial life. Planet GJ1132b is roughly 1.4 times the size of Earth and is located 39 light years away in the Vela constellation. The Earth-like planet orbits a red dwarf star that is smaller, cooler, and dimmer than our own Sun. Dubbed Super-Earth, the planet is believed to be surrounded by a thick atmosphere rich in water or methane, or potentially both. Scientists say one possibility is that GJ1132b is a water world with an atmosphere of hot steam. But with a surface temperature of 370 degrees Celsius, the world is unfortunately not habitable, as life on Earth has only managed to survive in up to 120 degrees Celsius. 
There's still a lot more to learn about GJ1132b, and scientists hope to be able to observe it more clearly using instruments such as the Hubble Space Telescope, ESO's Very Large Telescope, and the James Webb Space Telescope.